Hey guys, so today's video is all going to be about healthy desserts. You guys have spoken. You asked me so many questions about how to make desserts healthier, how to enjoy desserts without feeling guilty. I got you. I love desserts, especially anything chocolate and peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So today we're gonna go over three healthy desserts that also are great for meal prep because that was another question you guys asked me all about. So first up, we're gonna go over that chocolate cake that I shot in my last video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But to make it appropriate for meal prep, what I'm gonna do is actually take that same recipe and put the cake batter into cupcakes. That way you could portion it out through the week, maybe have two at a time or four. Then I'm gonna show you my chia seed pudding recipe. So versatile, you could flavor it in so many different ways. This could also be a breakfast, not only a dessert. And I'll also explain to you that you can make it in a batch so that you can put them in jars and have them for the whole week if you'd like. Lastly, but certainly not least, are my chocolate chip cookies. These are great to have on hand if you have little ones around the kitchen. They're always in my cookies. This dough happens to be egg free dairy free, all of the things free. So you technically could eat this dough as well. Just saying. Okay, so first up are my chocolate cupcakes. They're so rich, so moist and delicious. I have to tell you, I don't like to use that word moist. You could totally eat these for breakfast too. I mean, grab them and go in the morning. All right guys, here we have your wet ingredients. We have four eggs half a cup of ghee or clarified butter, or you could just use butter. Five tablespoons of coconut cream right from the can. You could also use coconut milk that has been refrigerated overnight, and then the cream will rise to the top and you just scoop that out. Then we have about four to five tablespoons of water in case you need to thin the batter a bit. A good old fashioned vanilla, my favorite for all baked goods. Okay, next we have the dry ingredients. We have two cups of almond flour. Any almond flour is fine, but I like to get blanched. Then we have a half a cup of cacao powder, unsweetened with no extra sugar added. Half a teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda just to help them rise a bit. And also a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, maybe about a quarter teaspoon there. For extra add-ins, you could use walnuts, coconut shreds, anything that you'd like to mix into your batter would be fine. Also, don't forget about your sweetener. You could use honey, maple syrup. I'm making them sugar-free, so I'm using the monk fruit sweetener, about a half of a teaspoon to a teaspoon, depending on your taste. portion it out into little mason jars for the week. Top it with anything you'd like. In here we have about three-fourths of a cup of almond milk and three tablespoons of chia seeds. Just put them in like so. In this version I'm making vanilla. I'm also going to add in a little bit of sweetener. 
Again, with the monk fruit or stevia, you could also add honey, maple syrup to this as well. I'm also gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I love putting cinnamon into my sweet or baked goods. It really helps with blood sugar regulation and it also tastes amazing. About a quarter teaspoon there. Pop the lid on, give it a nice shake, and put it in the fridge. If you're going to batch prep this, you could put a little bit of vanilla, a scoop of that cacao powder for chocolate. You could always add some fresh berries or cinnamon to it. Additionally, if you want to change things up a bit for a little bit of energy, put some matcha powder in there. I have raw coconut butter here. Coconut shreds, walnuts, seeds, whatever you're feeling that day. All these are great flavor enhancers. All right guys, so I took it out of the fridge and I just kind of wanted to show you the consistency here. I mean, pudding, what? This is so delicious. And like I said, you could top this with anything I showed you. I think I'm going to do some raspberries today and maybe some walnuts. Also, you could put some collagen in there or some protein powder for a boost of protein if you're making this a meal. So good. All right, third and best in my opinion. Chocolate chip cookies. Uh, these bake up so nice and crispy on the outside, so nice and moist on the inside. You don't need any of that dairy, you don't need any of brown sugar, and you don't even need any eggs, cause you know, I'm good like that. So it's totally cool if you just wanna eat it right out of the bowl. Okay, my favorite of all time, chocolate chip cookies. Here we have a cup and a half of almond flour. This next ingredient may not be something you have on hand, so you might wanna pick that up at the store. And especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of paleo or keto baking, it's our root starch. You need only about two tablespoons of that, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt, maybe a quarter teaspoon, and that is all you need for dry ingredients. Next up, we have our wet ingredients. We have vanilla again, about two teaspoons there. This version of the cookies are not keto, but they are paleo. I'm using maple syrup, about a third of a cup there. That helps give it that brown sugar taste. We have the ghee, about a quarter cup is all you need melted. Your chocolate chips, any variation you like. I have a sugar-free variation here, and I'm throwing those in. super happy girl right now with all of my yummy healthy desserts perfect for meal prep got the chocolate cupcakes can have a few of these with a nice cup of tea which is what I think I'm gonna do tonight chocolate chip cookies I mean how could you go wrong with chocolate chip cookies or just the dough again like I mentioned the chia seed pudding there I don't know if you could see I put a bunch of berries some coconut shreds a couple of walnuts in there um, honestly I'm gonna eat this for my lunch right now this is I put a little bit of collagen powder in there as well so this is like a full meal double as a breakfast double as a dessert you could put chocolate in there vanilla berry and have a delicious variation of this chia seed pudding so you could have a different flavor every day and never get bored you're welcome so until the next recipe video bon appetit enjoy never skip dessert because you don't need to do that this girl loves her chocolate 
Thank you for watching as always. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Leave some comments down below if you like this video, if you wanna see more. When we did that live, you gave me so many great ideas for videos and things that you want, so I'll be getting that out to you. So everyone, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.